I'm gonna do what any self-respecting tumbler maker would do at this point. Hey everybody, looks into swirl. We're back for another cup adventure with transfer foils. Uh, I got a lot of great suggestions after doing the last one. I will link to that video below if you haven't seen it yet. The overwhelming consensus was the aqua daisies for the next cup project. So I have that here. We are going to put that on a 20 ounce skinny straight. I have already painted it a nice relatively matchy matchy undercolor of this is Rust-Oleum's Vintage Teal. And I am now going to paint on the foil adhesive. This is Artsyville Embellishments foil adhesive. So I will link to everything below. At the suggestion of Jen, who owns and runs and operates the artistic painting studio, I'm going to put a bit of adhesive on a plate that I will keep using over and over and over. And I'm gonna add a tiny bit of water to it. Same basis as Aline's tack it over and over. Just thinning it down a little bit so I get a really nice layer. I will brush the layer on, put it on my little paper towel holder to dry for an hour. You can just do it right out of the container. There's nothing wrong with that. She does it this way because she uses a big gallon container and she doesn't want to leave the lid off the whole time she's working, especially on great big projects. And I can understand that. So there's a little bit to start. Squirt on a little bit of water. Do a little mixing and apply. I could speed this up, in which case you won't hear any of the talking, but I will say that there were some suggestions about using multiple foils, multiple textures, multiple lots of things. I am not comfortable enough with this process yet to move to multiples. I tend to be a little cautious at first until I understand things. I may actually come back and put on a second layer. I think I did that last time. If I do, then when I bring you back to start putting on the foil, I will let you know whether this is the only layer or whether I put on another one off camera. Total transparency. I'll meet you back here in a sec. I did put a second layer of sticky on it, foil adhesive. So it is extremely sticky now. I almost, I almost got stuck on here once already before I was ready to. Uh, it's a little scary, <laughs> really grabs. So I am going to put this on here. We are committed. I cannot get my fingers off. There we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's really sticky. Um, okay. I don't care about the seam. The seam does not bother me. So we're just, we're just going in like this. Not going to worry about it. I uh, did get a little bit of crinkle. It's all right. I'm not gonna worry about that either. I'm not gonna let anything bother me. <laughs> I've had one of those days already. Looks pretty good. Oh, I'm sorry I got a crinkle. Okay, that well, looks pretty cool. All right, let's work on the bottom and then I'll work on some specific spots. I don't know if I'll keep you around for all of that. Okay, while well, I've been fussing with this, I figured out that you can just press it on and pull it off and have a good result. Maybe not with the entire cup, but with smaller sections. For example, got some bare spots there. Put it on, rub it once, tear it off, bare spots are gone. For little patches, it works great. Gonna stop now, she says as she tries again. Okay, I'm gonna get set up for this next bit. I don't know. God, it just, this whole day, what a mess. Uh, let me think, let me think, let me think. And we're back. And this has a layer of resin on top, 
It looks very nice in most of the places I look. It's not perfect. This whole mess here with the wrinkles and everything just really bothers me. I was able to fill a lot of these in, but at the same time, it just doesn't look very good. Maybe it looks better on camera, but I'm not happy with it. I had another patch of problems here. Um, I, wanted, I want it all to look perfect, you know? That's what I'm shooting for here. And just, it doesn't, it doesn't look perfect. So I'm gonna do what any self-respecting tumbler maker would do at this point, a peekaboo. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna cover up the spots we like and then eradicate the spots we don't like. I have some simple flower shapes in removable vinyl. All right, where's a good spot? It looks really nice. Right there. And Okay, the next part's going to happen pretty quickly, unlike that part that took forever. <laughs> I'm going to take this outside, I'm going to spray paint it black, I'm going to come back in and immediately while the paint is still wet. This is kind of sort of complimentary, believe it or not. This has the aquamarine in it and if you go directly across the color wheel it has the orange in it that is complementary to aqua. So what I'm going to do, it looks hideous next to these pink flowers, but those aren't going to stay on the cup. Don't, don't forget, they're going away. So spray black on it, sprinkle this on the black, and then we're going to peel up these flowers to reveal our aqua holographic daisies underneath. And with any luck, we'll save this disaster of a cup. So I'll be right back after I spray paint my black on. Stay tuned. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna let this dry a little bit and then I'll bring you back to do pulling the flowers. Everything's dry, just barely. So now comes the fun of trying to pull my stencils. We'll see how I do. Okay, finally done. Looks pretty good. I am going to spray seal it once with some clear spray. I want to seal the glitter on so it doesn't travel all over and end up in the flowers. That's what I'll do next and I'll bring you back for the resin.
Hey everybody. Okay, this is looks into of the future. I've got the video finished and, and edited down to a less sucky version than it was originally. So many things went wrong with this tumbler. So very many things. I hated how the foil looked. Even the, the big reveal out in the sunshine, which you'll see in a moment because I've already recorded it, but or when I look at it in the editing on my computer screen, the sunshine obliterates how pretty the glitter actually looks on black. Maybe if I turn these lights off too and we just go overhead, that's gonna be really dark for you. But I actually think this looks beautiful. Uh, not out in the sunshine necessarily, although that brings out other features that I like, the holographic and the daisies. So we'll, we'll still see the big reveal out in the sunshine, but I like how this looks. I think this is beautiful. I did not put a decal on it. I did not put a name on it. I just, I just like how random it turned out. I love the, the orange that complements the aqua. Given how many times during the making of this video I wanted to throw this thing away because I hated it so much. I'm, I'm totally second guessing my desire to work with these foils at all. I'm, I'm a brand ambassador for these people, but I'm not entirely sure I can ever make this look good on a cup. I just, I hate the areas where wrinkles take over and apparently you have to embrace those and I just don't like how that looks. I want it to be perfect. I want it, see now there's, I mean, even, even though I tried to put the stencils over perfect areas. There's a big fat old wrinkle right down the middle of that one. I, I just don't find it appealing. So I don't know. I'll keep playing with the foils. I'll keep doing videos. But at some point, I may just decide that this is not for me and head off in a different direction. So uh, let me know your thoughts. Like I usually do when I want to try something new, I went all in and I bought... These aren't single rolls of things. These are rolls of all sorts of different types of foils all rolled up together. So we have lots of other foils to try, and if you want me to keep trying, I will keep trying. Let me know in the comment section. That's where we are. Let's go to the big reveal out in the sunshine. 